la mamá, Señor, es la melodía que nos pone en el alma, que nos pone en el alma, luz y alegría, y arriba, y arriba, y arriba, y arriba, y arriba, yo no soy marinero, yo no soy marinero, por ti seré. Good morning. So today what I'd like to go over are the instruments that I use when playing this song from Veracruz, Mexico called Bamba. Okay. So the first instrument, actually I'll start over here. The first instrument we're going to go over is what's called the Harana. Okay. Can you try to say that word? Harana? Harana. Okay. So the Harana, let's see if we can count how many strings it has. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight strings on this instrument, okay? And so how we play it is we play it by strumming, okay? We play it by strumming. And to make different sounds higher and lower, we use our left hand on the strings here. And we can play all kinds of cool different patterns. So that's called the harana. So the harana comes in different sizes. So this one here, this is the uh, one of the smallest sizes. It's called the harana primera. Okay, can you try that? Harana primera. In primera, that means first. So like the first harana. So if we go up in size, we have what's called the harana segunda. And it's tuned exactly the same as this the Hirana Primera, but it's just a little bit bigger. So how does, how does it being bigger change the sound? Think about that. Okay. Does it sound lower or does it sound higher than the Primera? Try again. I'll let you think about that and we'll talk about it. Okay, so that the other instrument that I used is this instrument right here. So this instrument is called a quijada. Can you say that? Quijada. Quijada. Okay. So this is, is actually what it looks like it is. It's a jawbone from a donkey. Okay, from a small donkey. So the cool thing about this is that it makes all kinds of different sounds. So what you can do is you can take a stick you can scrape it against the teeth to make a kind of scraping sound. Okay, and then what you can do is you can take this meaty part of your hand and you can hit the side of the jawbone to make a little rattle sound. And what do you think's rattling when I hit this? What do you think's rattling? Think about that. Okay, so yeah. The quijada. So the last instrument that I the last instrument that I use in the video is this instrument here called the requinto. So I'm gonna go ahead and tune it because it sounds a little bit out of tune. So what I'm doing when I tune something is I'm either tightening or loosening the strings to make them sound the same, okay? Oh, that sounds a little bit different, doesn't it? So so I think I'm gonna have to tighten that a little bit to make it go higher. 
Okay, let's try that again. <clears throat> ah, you see that? I'll try that. I'll, I'll show you that, how to do that one more time. So. B, B. See how they sound different? So I'm gonna have to go ahead and chart, or I'm gonna have to go ahead and make it tighter. Just a little bit at a time, and we'll check it. Oh, it's getting close. Let's see if this next one will do it. Oh, getting closer. Let's try one more. Ah, that's cool. Okay, so this here is called the requinto. And so with the requinto, I play it here. I'll pull it right here. It might be focused right there. I play it with what's called an espiga. So the espiga, this is made from bullhorn, bullhorn or goat horn. And so you take it and what you do is you hold it in your finger here and you use this to play the strings. You hear that? You hear the sound? Now I'm just gonna play with my finger so we can see how it sounds different. Okay, so now I'm gonna play it with the Yaspiga and we'll see how that makes it sound. So how did that change the sound? When I played it with my thumb? Versus when I played it with the Yaspiga. you to think about that okay and we'll talk about it all right so that's it so these are all the instruments that I use for the video okay so, oh uh oh so we had the the quinto we had the jaranas the primera and the segundo and we had one of my favorites the quijada okay so yeah so I want you to go ahead and try to remember those names and remember how I made the different sounds with them, okay? All right, we'll see you soon. Hello, so this part of the video is going to be for those of you who want to play ukulele or guitar or some other strummed stringed instrument. So the instrument that we use for the strumming or for the chords on this style of music it's called the harana. So I'm gonna go ahead, show you the harana really quick and I'll play a little bit of bamba for you. Okay, so I love this instrument so much, I love it. So the, the harana, as you can see, it has several strings, okay? It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight strings, eight strings. But if we hear, some of those strings are tuned the same. Okay, that's a single string on the top. Oh, we have two of the same there. Two of the same there. Two of the same there. And then a single one at the bottom. But let's take a look at that single one on the bottom that we play with the one on the top. Ah, they sound the same. Cool. So this is the harana. Interestingly, the harana is tuned the same as the ukulele. So let me go ahead. Okay, those are the first four strings of the harana. Let's try it on the ukulele. Let me see if I can do this. Ah, except this one is, is lower. It's a lot lower. So I'm going to play C chord on the, uh, on the ukulele, and then I'll play it on the harana. So let's see how it sounds. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's the ukulele. Now I'm going to do it on the harana. Ah, same, same fingering, same fingering. You know, I use the same finger on the same fret. 
and it sounds the same. The only one of the differences about the Harana is that it has an extra string right here, okay, on the very bottom, and so that's the only difference. But that string right there is the same as the string on the top, okay. All right. The other thing is that the Harana it has courses here, so that means that there's two strings that are tuned the same, okay. And it gives it. Actually, you know what? Let me let me go ahead and let me demonstrate. I'm gonna play the Harana, and I want you to hear how these double strings might make a difference in the sound, okay? So here we go, I'm gonna strum it. I'll do it one more time. Okay, so now let's go ahead, let's listen, listen to that on the ukulele. Let's see if we can hear a difference in the sound. Go back to the Hirana. One more time. So think about why you think that sounds different. Okay, think about that. All right. So what we're gonna do now? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna switch over to ukulele, and I'm gonna play bamba. All right, bamba. So the first thing we're gonna start on, like we always do, is the right hand. So we're just gonna start with the strumming rhythm. Okay, I'll play it and then I'll explain it. So here we go. And you follow along. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and explain it. Down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Good. So when we strum down, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use these fingers here. Strum down. When we strum up, we're going to use our thumbnail. Down, up, down, up, down, up. So you can practice that to get it comfortable and then add the pattern. Okay. But make sure you take it very slow. Very slow. Good. All right. The other thing is when you're holding your right hand, what you want to do is you want to pretend you're holding a baby bird. Okay. So you keep your fingers, you curl them in, and you put your thumb directly in line with your fingernails, just like this. Okay. So imagine you have a baby bird in your hand. You don't want it to fly away, but you don't want to crush it. Okay. So you want to keep it relaxed, but firm because you don't want it to fly away. Okay. So I'll show you that again. Okay, good. So now we're going to add the chords, okay? So the chords for bamba, C major, I'll do that again, C major, and then F major, F major, and then G7, G7, and then C major. Okay, so I'll do that one more time. C major, F major, G7, C major. Okay, and make sure you're, uh, you can rewind this part of the video and take a look at the chord charts at the bottom, okay? <clears throat> All right, so here are the chords and the strumming put together. So how many beats do we hold each chord? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and play and then we can count along together, okay? So here we go, I'll go really slow. One, two, ready, go. Cool. 
yeah, so practice that slowly. Um, and yeah, and eventually you'll bring it up to speed and you'll get it and you'll be, be able to play along with the play along on the video. Okay, all right, we'll see you soon. steps but what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror it for you so when I say right I'm going to be using my left foot when I say left I'm going to be using my right foot okay so here are the basic steps for Bamba we're just gonna learn the very first part and then you can watch the video and you can learn the rest on your own okay so <clears throat> what we want to do is you want to be sure that we are bending our knees okay so this is gonna make a springy it's gonna make it springy, so make sure you're bending your knees. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to shift our weight from our right to our left. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right, left, right. Try that again. Right, left, right. And make sure you're shifting your weight. Right, left, right. Okay, right, left, right. And so for each of those, we're gonna do a little hop. Okay, because we want to shift our weight from left to right, okay? So right, left, right. On the last one, we're just going to set our foot down. We don't want to hop on it. We just want to set it down. Not hop, set it down. So it's going to go right, left, right, set. Right, left, right, set. Right, left, right, 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 right, left, right. Okay, let's try that again. One, two, ready, go. Right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, set. Right, left, right, set. Right, left, right, set. Right, left, right. So try that out over and over again. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about where to strike our heels, okay? So in Son Jorocho, the feet are the drums, okay? so. The feet are the drums, kind of like tap dancing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two taps, two taps. Set, 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 okay? I know it's a bit tough, but if you follow the basic shifting of the weight, left, right, left, set, left, right, left, set, left, right, left, you'll be fine. But when you're hitting the heels, I'm gonna to turn to the side. When you're hitting the heels, it's kind of like you hit out and bring it back. Go ahead and try that out, and then let's see what you come up with. All right, have a good day.